Well, it seems the Vatican exorcists are at it again. Check this article out. Headline, Irish exorcist calls for backup to face surge in malicious activity by the devil. If you scroll down, I'm just going to go after one paragraph right here. It says, in the face of the rising tide of demonic activity, Father Collins said he was baffled that the Irish bishops are not reacting to the need by appointing more priests as exorcists. Complaints range from claims of ghostly encounters to people being pulled from their beds and even full-blown possession. Do you remember the 1973 movie, The Exorcist? I mean, that was the perfect example of how Roman Catholic exorcism works. It's all a money-making scheme. And how do I know that? Well, first and foremost, the exorcisms aren't like you saw in the movie where they're puking the green stuff and the head spinning. No, that was all Hollywood. But the repetitive visits by the priest, that is how it works. Most exorcisms performed by Catholic priests take months and even years to supposedly expel the demons. And each time the priests recite their incantations and rituals over the possessed victim, the family is charged a fee. Hence the reason some exorcisms take years. It all depends on the wealth of the family. But if you look in your Bibles and see that each and every time Jesus cast a demon out, not only did it happen instantly, not a single person was charged a fee. Now notice this as well. In the article, the priest stated that the key is to have well-trained personnel to deal with the issue and help people get the assistance they need. But I have to say, that's how Rome has always worked. When you ask them about their false doctrines like purgatory or eternal life and hellfire or the Trinity, they claim only ordained leaders in the church can understand such things. And so they just blow you off and tell you, don't worry about it, we got it handled. But here's the real key to casting out a demon if you open up your Bible. All you need is faith in Jesus Christ. In fact, each time in my life when I was called to partake in offering simple prayers to cast out a demon, each time we all witnessed a demon left instantly from the victim. But the Vatican has no faith in the Bible or its author. In fact, do you recall back in September of 2000 when the Vatican's head exorcist and the Pope himself could not cast a demon out of a teenage girl in the Vatican? That young girl even tossed some Vatican guards around like ragdolls. This all happened in front of multiple witnesses and ended up in many newspapers all around the world despite the Vatican's attempt to cover it up. The reason the demon laughed from within the little girl at the Pope's attempt to grandstand his so-called Catholic power was because it knew the Pope had no faith in Jesus. And even the demons know that is the only key to defeating Satan. Remember this biblical event? It's found in Acts chapter 19, verses 13 to 17. It says this, Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits, the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by Jesus, whom Paul preacheth. And there were seven sons of one Sceva, a Jew, and the chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are ye? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them, so that they fled out of the house naked and wounded. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. And fear fell on them all, and the name of the Lord Jesus was magnified. It is only the name of Jesus Christ that can cast the demon out. But since Jesus had already ascended to heaven, and Paul was going about in faith, doing mighty works in the name of the Lord, those Jews had more faith in the man, Paul, than they did in the Creator, Jesus. In the exact same way, the popes of Rome have more faith in Mary or Peter or Anthony and a host of other dead humans that they display in marble statues in all their churches. The exorcists of Rome are simply religious con men looking to make a quick buck. Nothing more, nothing less. A babe in Christ with true faith in Jesus Christ makes Satan much more fearful than any of these wolves dressed in pagan robes. This is why the possessed man leaped on the vagabond Jews, and the little girl threw those Vatican guards around and laughed at the Pope before all those witnesses. Thank you for watching. God bless.